In these days, where we're all being more attentive to our surroundings, the beauty of nature, the butterflies frequenting our gardens, and the swans and cygnets on our waterways and canals, I thought I would share a reflection based on something that I was drawn to whilst in St Andrews for private prayer earlier today. Have you ever taken time to notice the statue of Our Lady, tenderly holding the baby Jesus in her arms? She is young, or perhaps mature beyond her years. Her features are composed, but to me her eyes look like she is deep in thought, perhaps pondering her baby's future and reflecting on the warning she received from Simeon in the temple that a sword would pierce her heart. One arm gently holds the baby on her lap, whilst the other looks to tenderly cup his feet, as in a protective gesture. Or perhaps she's going to gently tickle his toes. Her baby looks healthy and well-fed, and he is wearing a clean white tunic. Like many babies, he looks curious and also looks to be focused on something that has attracted his attention whilst he sucks his finger. On Our Lady's left, there is a golden hair, looking suspiciously like a lint chocolate Easter bunny. And on her right is a tall brown hair, snuggling up to her side. And did you know that hares were considered spiritual animals? and often used in religious art and sculpture. I have read that they represent illumination, intuition, promise and balance. All things which many of us would admit to needing more of during these worrying times. Apparently hares are strongly feminine in their energy and were thought to come into people's lives when they needed to look within and figure things out. Perhaps that is the connection here with our statue. Mary is searching within herself for the strength, wisdom and grace to be the best mother she can be to her precious son, the son of God, destined for great and terrible things and to be the light of the world. So as we seek God's guidance in our lives at this time, with whatever worries we might have, let us thank God for Mary's yes to the angel Gabriel, for agreeing to become the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, for tenderly bringing him up, keeping him from danger, and then watching as he suffered the cruel death of a Roman crucifixion taking on himself the, sons of the, the sins of the world. And let us ask for Mary's intercession and protection over us. Remember, O most loving Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help or sought thy intercession, was left forsaken. Filled therefore with a confidence in thy goodness, I fly to thee, O Mother, Virgin of Virgins. To thee I come, before thee I stand, a sorrowful sinner. Despise not my words, O Mother of the Word, but graciously hear and grant my prayer. Amen. <laughs>